Hello everyone and welcome to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I'd like to show you guys a little tutorial here on how to create your own custom shirt. So here in Roblox, you click on that develop tab right there and then over here, scroll down to shirts and then click on shirts. From here, what you're going to do is you're gonna need a custom template and you can upload a file and you can put it on here and that will be your custom shirt. But first you have to build from this template. So go in here, click on this and download this thing. So once you're here on this page, right click save as and then save it on your local machine somewhere uh, also this shows a little bit on how to how the shirts gonna look this is the front they show the back the arms the top the bottom but they're all different colors and they've got all this writing on it so if you uploaded this file the shirts basically just gonna look like that image of the guy at the top so what you want is a program I like to use GIMP this is a free program that you can download at www.gimp.org you can also use Photoshop or some other programs to edit. Uh, if you know how to use other editing programs, any of those will do. So come into GIMP and then open the file. So this file that you just downloaded onto your system, open this whole thing and this is where you're going to do all of the edits in order to update your shirt. So go in there and say what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a solid blue color. So I'm gonna pick the color and I'm gonna go through here with this painting tool and I'm just gonna start by coloring these things all the same color. So as you can see, all of the writing is not necessarily all picking it up. So you're gonna to have to go by with uh, a painting tool and try to cover those up. So I'm gonna go through here, click all of these, make sure they're all the same color. And then you can use this paintbrush tool over here, click on this. You want to uh, make sure it's a good, good solid paintbrush and it's got the same color, but see you can go over these uh, letters anything and so this is how you get it to be just a good solid background it's even better if you want to you can increase your hardness and you can go with a, a more solid uh, setting there for uh, setting up this tool so go through here you're gonna want to also upload maybe so you can see how the images are if you want to put some images on there and do the file upload as a layer so you want to open as a layer you can see that this is a little big so I'm gonna to go to right click resize this guy so we're gonna bring it down a little bit okay okay click on okay as you can see that's still a little bit too big so right click on it we're gonna resize gonna go down a little bit further here okay let's try to get this to a size to where it will basically fit we're gonna have this image on the back of the shirt so move it over here Okay, so as you can see, the B and the K uh, still don't get covered up by the image, so I wanna come in here and also uh, cover the, up that B and that K. Oh, uh, you also wanna make sure that you click on the correct layer, uh, otherwise it's not gonna work on the layer unless you've selected the proper layer. So there we go, I'm gonna cover up this B, I'm gonna cover up this K with that blue color, and hopefully the poo emoji will basically cover the A and the C mostly, but I'm still gonna cover it up here, just to get it taken care of. And so now I can move this poo emoji and there's no B or K behind it. So that is the back of the shirt. For the front, I'm going to upload this other image here. So I'm gonna get a picture of me right there, the cartoon G-Dad. So again, it's too big, we're gonna rescale it. So let's try to go down to a different size, maybe 100. Okay, that looks, yeah, that looks perfect. It covers up the front really well. Uh, so basically, all we have to do now is get all of these other pieces of writing covered up so I'm going to go back and select this tool right here and I'm gonna go through and I'm going to get rid of all these U's and L's and B's and R's and everything that we don't want to show up on the shirt so go in there get the tool and then make sure you've covered everything uh, necessary so I'm gonna move this out of the way here and make sure everything behind it's taken care of okay so we're gonna get that U we're gonna change the colors of all of this as you can see, speeding through this part just a little bit because it could be a little bit tedious. Uh, so I'm covering all these up with this tool. There we go. Now we've basically got the nice blue solid background that we want. And we've got this image here in the front. Okay, don't need to move it there. Okay, we're gonna put it right there. And cool, I think that's perfect. Perfect size. So this is basically how it's gonna look. It's got me in the front. It's got this poo emoji in the back save it you you'll want to save the the um, xcf file so basically save the file and then export as so go and export as a png after you save it and then you basically got that file ready to upload you can close this you can close out gimp now come back over here to roblox 
in the developer choose file and click on this go and choose the file that you've created and then upload and as you can see here we've got this file down here it may take a few minutes after you upload for the shirt to be available so you can view it or for anybody else to check it out uh, but let's click on this and see if we can get a preview of the shirt oh there we go cool so we've got our preview already this is what the shirt will look like if you want you can get rid of all those extra lines and make it more solid uh, basically however you want you can go with different colors on the different parts uh, you can see my, I've got my image in the front. We've got this cool little poo emoji in the back here. Uh, getting I didn't get rid of these lines here, as you can see, but you can always do that. You can customize the shirt however you would like. Uh, and this shirt is now also available. As you can see, it is in uh, your inventory. So if you want to, put it on just like anything else. Uh, also, if you want to make edits or sell the shirt, come over here to configure and you can configure the shirt a little bit and you can put it up for sale uh, we don't see a preview here okay there we go there we go sometimes it takes a while after you upload it but if you want to sell the shirt you can click on this sell the shirt and you can click a price now you can go down and click save and there you go your shirt is available it is in the store it is listed people can now buy it for i believe now we've got this one listed for five bucks you get three of the dollars uh two of the dollars goes to roblox i guess as part of the sale commission so you will get a three dollar robux three dollars worth of robux if somebody buys this shirt so i hope that was helpful for you guys if you have any questions feel free to comment below and let me know if you're having any issues or if you need some help with getting this going thank you for watching feel free to like and subscribe see you guys